What is up everyone? It is time to test a Sega Mega Drive console. Um, you don't normally see Sega stuff on my channel, so this is quite an interesting video because Sega and I have a strange relationship. I love the Dreamcast, I think it's awesome and it's one of my favourite consoles of all time. I think the Saturn is really cool but a bit crap. Um, and other than that, I don't have much of a relationship with them. I am um, not ashamed to admit that I'm a, uh, a Nintendo fanboy. So when it comes to these old Mega Drives and stuff, they are a bit of a pain in the ass in my opinion. Um, they just sort of get in my way a little bit. And I know there's loads of, of massive Mega Drive fans out there. But I'm going to talk a little bit about the console in this video and talk about why I'm, I don't fully like it compared to, you know, the Super Nintendo. Every Sega console of its time I prefer it's a Nintendo, you know, rival if that makes any sense but yeah today is going to be a really simple um sort of rough around the edges video of me taking a look at some sega stuff mainly two mega drive consoles that i have so here i am on the floor guys and if i just pan over a little bit you can see my gaming pile is really really shrinking which is great it's getting there. I'm slowly managing to sell stuff off. I've only listed a few things on eBay, but the pile seems to be a lot smaller than it originally was. So I'm very, very happy with this. And um, lots of these boxes are relatively empty now as well. And my stock is getting very limited, you know, sort of dribs and drabs of stuff left over. I've got incomplete setups um, all over the place. But this is one complete setup that I do have left, and that is a very simple Sega Mega Drive 1 console with Sega, uh, Sega Mega Drive 1 controller, as well as its power supply, um, a sort of official aerial lead, it hasn't got the switch box on it unfortunately, um, and as well I've got a load of games, well I say a load, we've got some games, but they're all really good games, they're all nice games, um, or most of them anyway. This is Aladdin that I've got in the console at the moment, and just taking a look at the selection of the other games, they're all fairly decent, as you can probably tell. Um, so, my aim, Streets of Rage 2, love that one, uh, my aim is to test all of these games and test both of these consoles. Now, as you can see, I have two consoles, but I only have one controller, one power cable, and one aerial cable. So, in theory, that means I can only sell one console bundle. I'm going to sell the other one as a tested console only, but the other one has a slight... don't know if you can hear that on camera. A slight plastic rattle to it. Now, this is one thing that... Uh, is different for me between um, Sega and Nintendo consoles. The quality difference is quite colossal because these are sort of very sort of hard plastic that's quite easy to break and they, they feel hollow, they feel not that well made, you know. And they are, they, they're built like tanks, they can survive anything, but I just get a better feeling from the thicker plastic Nintendo consoles. But one thing I love about um, Sega, uh, especially the Master System and the Mega Drive, are these game cases. They are a little bit like miniature VHS cases, and they are fantastic, leaps and bounds ahead of the cardboard cases that came with the uh, Super Nintendo stuff. As you can see, the majority of my games do have these little tags in place. The only one that doesn't is uh, Power Rangers here, um, but the majority of them also have their manuals, if not all, I believe. So of course I'll go through all of that in the eBay listing, but it will be nice to get rid of these two Sega consoles. I think I'm gonna put um, fairly cheap buy it now prices on the auctions, uh, on the eBay listings rather, instead of doing auctions, because that'll mean I can get rid of them quicker probably, and uh, I can gain more space, because these games stacked up, that's one thing about storing these game cases rather than cartridges, is they do actually take up quite a bit of space. Um, so this was an entire box worth just these two consoles and this stack of games. So I'm going to test both of these with all of the games. Um, I'm going to test all the games in that console and then test this, this console with just a couple of games. Now one thing that I've already noticed, I have already booted it up by the way guys, um, just to play a little bit of Aladdin. One thing that is really unfortunate is my uh, B button. I don't know if you can tell on camera, it's quite hard to see. And I've got to get a decent focus on this for you maybe be able to see the B button is actually really sticky and you've got to jab it really hard. If you listen to the um, A and C buttons, they've got a nice sort of click to them. They've never been my favourite buttons, but this one, 
This one in the middle is really mushy compared to the other, so you've really got to jab at it. So that is very annoying. This is by no means one of my most perfect console bundles at all. Um, in fact, it's, it's fairly weak. Uh, compared to some of the other console bundles that I've sold. But I recently sold a really nice Master System bundle to Will, which is great. Um, he got two controllers and he also got a Mega Drive controller just like this one that he needed and he got the proper uh, Switch Pack, this proper Sega Switch Pack and everything, so that's great. Um, but I'm not here to con anyone, I will declare everything in the auction. I'm just here to get rid of all of my consoles now, everything that I've got left. Of course, I'm keeping all of my own consoles, like my Dreamcast and my GameCube and my various N64s, but everything in this pile has got to go. And one little thing that I will note, guys, because this video is about the Sega stuff, but more importantly, it's about the game, gaming stuff as a whole, I guess. I have not listed any of the Game Boy stuff on eBay yet. I recently showed them in a video, and I have not done anything about them, so... Uh, expect those to pop up soon. Also, I do have a Master System bundle that I have knocking about. So what I think I'll do is actually drag out the Master System and its games and test all of that at the same time, see if I can get that on as well. That's literally just dawned on me now, guys. I've got a Master System 2 sitting in here, so let's take a look at that. So guys, it's about 10 minutes later and I've been doing some organisation. Here we have that Mega Drive bundle that I was showing you to begin with. And I have found a couple more games to add to the collection, including the original Sonic, so that's really good. I've also found the original Switch Pack, if I just get up a second and show you. Around the back of the TV, you can see I've got the proper Switch Pack there, which is great. So I'm glad I found that. I'm glad I looked back through the boxes. Um, coming over here, we have a Master System 2 bundle. Now, this bundle is far from perfect because... I don't have a switch pack, it's just a, a straightforward aerial lead. One controller, um, but the controller feels okay. A non-official power supply. The Master System 2 itself is in really grubby condition. It's even got tip X and stuff on the bottom, so of course that'll have to be mentioned. And I'm not even sure if it works properly. And then we have quite a big bundle of games actually with a load of good games, but um, they're pretty much all missing their manuals. Um, whereas these games, apart from this one, they all have their manuals, um, which is great. So they're the two bundles that I want to get on eBay today. Now, this lot I'm about to put away, but I kept out to show you guys. This is a bundle of miscellaneous stuff that I'm either going to sell individually or bundle together um, in a giant bundle at the end. My plan is, once I've sold off everything I can, when there's loads of little bits left at the end, I'm going to put them all in one bundle and just say retro gaming job lot, you know, and start it at 99 pence and see what I get. Um, so that includes empty cases of games that I don't have and some doublers. Um, games without manuals that I didn't want to include here, and of course it's a doubler of Aladdin anyway. Um, we have Master System games without covers, so just the plastic casing. We have a Mega Drive 2 that I don't have cables for, a Mega Drive 1 that I don't have cables for, neither of them have controllers either. And we have four copies of Michael Jackson Moonwalker, two for the Master System, two for the Mega Drive. I know these fetch a little bit of money, so I'll probably sell them individually. We have a Game Genie, a Loose Cart, and that is it. So I'm going to take um, this box and put all of that in this box. It's looking a bit grubby, but nevertheless... We'll stack these in here, and then I will address those at a later date, because today I'm just focused on the bundles. I'll actually stack the games in first, because they take up some space. But as you can see, I've got rid of that box, that box is empty, and that box is empty, so we are down to quite low stock, which is really, really good news, guys. Really, really good news. Um, so let's get this lot packed away in here. And once this slot is in there, we can actually stack things a lot easier, which will be great. So there they are for a rainy day. They can go back over there, and I'm just going to focus on testing these two bundles. I'm not going to do loads of uh, game footage, because obviously it's a lot of games and stuff to get through. So I'm going to start getting through these games and update you on what's happening with the Mega Drive in a second. So guys, I've just tested all of the games. I'm on the last game now. This is the... Uh, what, are they, what do they call this? Uh... Mega Games 2. Okay, cool. Um, this is actually quite a good one. You get a lot. You get three really good games. Um, but yeah, interestingly enough, the Sega Switch Pack would not tune in. I really don't know why. Um, I'll give it a go with the Master System 2, but if not, I'll have to find another one of these leads, because this seems to work fine on my TV. Um, it might be a dodgy lead. 
Um, but all these games work great. And as you can see, just got a Streets of Rage running on uh, this multi-game now, which is really cool. And I've taken some photos of the system in action to include on eBay, which is great. I'm very pleased with this. So it's time to move on from the Mega Drive and test the master system. So I'll put all this to one side, ready to take photos. So unfortunately guys, I cannot get this uh, master system to, to tune into the TV. I've tried um, both of the aerial leads with no joy. So the one that worked with the Mega Drive, I'm gonna include with the Mega Drive. And the one that didn't, I'm gonna include with the master system and say, look, I've tried testing it, nothing is happening, and I'm gonna sell it as spares or repairs, unfortunately, because uh, I can't get it to work. Now, this is not the correct power supply for it. This is a third-party power supply, so that may have a massive, um, a massive impact, I'm not too sure. But I can't test any of the games, so yeah, I'm not gonna list this today because whenever anything like this happens, I always like to come back to it another day and just see if I can get a second thought about it. Um, so I will be listing the Mega Drive today if I've got time before work. Um, let's have a quick look at the time. Um, yeah, 10 to 4. We'll see what I can do. But unfortunately, we have no joy from this guy, um, which is not very good, actually. It's a bit of a shame, but it's a very beat-up console anyway. Even the controller's got a bit of a rattle to it. So, yeah, it's not, it's not a big catastrophic uh, disaster. So that was my test and talk about a couple of little Sega consoles. The Mega Drive bundle is wonderful, all the games work brilliantly, uh, the console works brilliantly, um, and they've all got their manuals and stuff apart from one and they're all in nice condition and that, that's cool. The Master System bundle is a little bit of a train wreck, but it could be a lot worse. Um, well, actually, it doesn't work at the moment, so I guess it couldn't be worse, but yeah, I'm sure someone will find some use for that. I'll have to sell it as spares or repairs. Um, as these items become available on eBay, I will put links in the video description if I remember, and if anyone cares, then uh, feel, feel free to message me about them or whatever. Uh, I don't do these videos to advertise this stuff. I do them because my channel is about documenting what I do um, on a daily basis. You know, I'm always doing something with computers or whatever, so when I do a console thing like this today, I've got to document this today, which is, you know, cool because I don't do enough gaming videos and my gaming audience has actually actually decreased quite a lot uh, since around four years ago where I used to do much more gaming stuff. Um, but, you know, it's not my main focus at the moment, but I hope you enjoy these little gaming videos every now and again. I know these are mainly just testing consoles and it's all really common stuff. There's nothing rare or that exciting about this stuff, but it's still really cool. And it always gives that retro element to the, uh, to the whole thing, which I really, really like. Because retro gaming is such a cool little aspect of uh, retro tech. But anyway, guys, enough rambling from me. I hope you've enjoyed this um, little quick video on some Sega stuff. I keep looking at the master system, a bit disappointed there, but I'll see what I can do. So, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.